how have we not mapped the ocean floor at this point in time in history? It's the largest data gap, knowledge gap, potentially left on the planet. Bedrock is a company aiming to fix that. They're building ocean drones, or autonomous underwater vehicles, AUVs, to collect all kinds of data about the seafloor and have a platform that makes that data easily accessible. Co-founder Anthony Damari says that surveying the ocean floor will be integral to life in the next 50 years. It is unbelievable how little we know about the ocean in comparison to Mars or other planets. This could touch the future of many industries, from energy, wind and oil, to more out-of-the-box ideas like underwater data centers. And right now, a big issue is being able to actually see and understand the physical space. Right now, the industry is basically relying on these huge ships. The United States Gold requires an unbelievable amount of surveying to the point where even if we could allocate all of the survey vessels that we have now just towards supporting this activity, we don't have enough. That's a scary bottleneck to sort of realize. The second part of the equation is now we have this enormous geospatial data set that needs to be processed, needs to be organized, and it needs to be ultimately delivered to some end client or system to do something. In fact, it is likely and expected to be the largest geospatial data set on Earth. Just physically think about it, it's two thirds of the Earth Bedrock's ocean drones will be able to gather data not only about the surface of the seafloor, but also the layers stacked on top of each other. At the moment, we make a lot of decisions without fully understanding the impact of exactly what those activities are doing and how that affects the ecosystem. Fundamentally, we're going to be living in a world where there's a lot more people, where we need a lot more food, where we need a lot more infrastructure that will rely almost inevitably on the ocean floor.